In the kitchen, 23-year-old Sebastian Gornitska is full of focus. Check the temp temperature, check if it's okay. And precision. Let me give breakfast and lunch for the patient. Here at Oslo's Lilleborg Health Center, Sebastian feels at home. How do you like working here? Uh, great, yeah. Uh, then I have something to go to every day. After all, the shoe. Sure. He's coming up on three years at the job. So have lunch, that's the most fun. Sebastian is one of about 160 people in Norway who've gotten a job through a group called Helt Med, a primarily government-funded social enterprise. We help people with uh, intellectual disabilities uh, get a job in the ordinary work life. As staff member Rebecca Perez explains, Helt Med isn't your typical job placement program. We have a lot of focus on support, uh, both in the recruitment process, where they apply for the job and come to job interviews, but also support when they're in the job from a local job special specialist. For nearly six years, they've been striving to perfect a work inclusion model for people on disability benefits who are still motivated to work in the traditional job market. With the aim of spreading that model all across Norway. We want to be available for everyone, not just those living in big cities, in Oslo, in Bergen, Trondheim. Helt Me helps its partner companies develop needed jobs that fit the various strengths of job seekers with intellectual disabilities. I think everywhere it's some uh, opportunities for this target group. Those jobs are then published on their website for people like Sebastian to check out. We find help me and uh, yeah, we, we applied for a job interview and, and I got the second interview and then I got the job. To help build comfort and confidence, the first interview is with Helt Me. The employer joins for the second round and ultimately makes the final decision. We want this to be um, a regular process when you get the job through Helme. Uh, you have to own the process yourself and apply for the job or jobs you're interested in. After a choice is made, the employee gets a four-week trial period. For that stretch, Helme pays their salary to take the economic aspect out of the employer's final decision. After that, uh, bo uh, both uh, employee and the employer decides if this is the right path to go. According to Health Med's CEO, about 80% of their job seekers get hired as permanent employees after this trial period. I put new ones in today. Health Med offers employees a course about working life and responsibilities and requires employers to provide their new hires a mentor. But perhaps the most important part of their model is providing their clients with lasting follow-up from an outside job specialist. Why is it key to have support from a job specialist? Because it's safe to have someone you always can reach out to, both for the people in the job uh, and the employer. In Sebastian's case, Oslo's Kenin Haji Yusufovic plays that supporting role. Sebastian uh, has our support uh, through the, as long as he works here. I have something I don't understand and uh, I want to talk about, I can talk to him and he can talk to uh, the, my job. It's a relationship three years in the making that Kenan takes seriously and treads on carefully. I have to approach the situation with a great deal of respect, with a great deal of discretion and always uh, make sure that Sebastian is director here, that Sebastian is deciding what should be done and what shouldn't be done. Ferla Garls, a special education professor at Oslo Metropolitan University, has been studying employers' willingness to hire people with intellectual disabilities. And right now I'm doing a research project on school employment transition for that group. She says guaranteeing practical support, like a job coach, is one key way to get more companies on board. With giving these employees a well-deserved chance. It's one of those last groups in society that are still being quite openly discriminated against. And I think we, we all need to 
come together in our effort to, to make the situation better for them. Models like Hilt Mez have come about out of a need to provide this target group with better opportunities. Many of them don't have any work place to go to at all. According to this 2017 report, less than 3% of working age adults with intellectual disabilities in Norway were employed in an ordinary workplace with support. I think we would really need to invest more money in these kind of organizations like Heltme who are working uh, to help in the transition. And with low unemployment rates in Norway throughout 2022, Professor Garls says now can be an opportune moment to start turning the tide. The labor market is, is desperately in need of people that can work. And I think people with intellectual disability can fill part of the, the need. Looking ahead, Heltmes says they're working with Norway's welfare administration to incorporate pieces of their work inclusion model into the larger government system. This should be something that's available for everyone, regardless of where they live. They're also fighting to expand a similar model that starts while special education students are still in high school. It's so important to secure the smooth transi transition from school to work. We uh, have chicken today, chicken uh, for the patients. For Sebastian, the job has meant much more than just some extra cash. My colleagues and yeah, we are very social. We, yeah, we do stuff together and uh, yeah, we are cl quite cl close. That's a theme Rebecca sees with many of the young people she works with. To see how they suddenly get filled with motivation and they believe in their, themselves. It's a feeling work can bring all of us. To have a meaning, to have something to get up in the morning to go to, to feel like you're a part of something, to be able to give back. And one Kenan hopes to help more people find. Everybody has potential, we just need to fa facilitate it in the right way. As Sebastian wraps up his shift, preparing the final plates for his patients, he serves up a model for success, helping to inspire the rest of us. Naslo, Norway. I'm Eric Benninghoff.